Excellent. So, yeah, first of all, um, thank you very much to uh, Michael and everyone uh, who's let me do this. Uh, secondly, thank you to Tash for the food, that was amazing. Uh, thirdly, thank you to George E. Proton Whisper, that was really, really good. And uh, fourthly, oh, oh, oh. the music. On a lonely street in Panama, the homeless man refrains from retelling his whole story to the children and the chains. But he tells it to the businessman for each the lack of the draw. Just in case this wretched youth should attempt to reach his goal. I went hunting after the wildest beauty in the world and found it in a city built by apes. There at the top of stop, I longed to harvest it for more But still I hadn't found what I was looking for So I sing this song to warn you all And it goes la 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 I lost all I found in the space that surrounds I carved through the chestnuts and widowed the waves Surviving through boredom and deep dark drive days I longed for a maze to bevel my glaze on the lonely streets in Panama, the homeless man did die, and the businessman who thought him mad walked away, looked at the sky, and those behind him who did celebrate the life that he had lost, dropped their flowers on his grave and spelt his death in their exhaust. As they sang la 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 Erica ties her hair up, dries the plates and screams at life. Annette lies under the air conditioning in her father's offices and wants to die. Today's the day of the students' march, they're already gathered with their placards. Stand up for the workers, Erica says. Our united left is on Annette's, but she hasn't turned up yet. When she arrives, she hides the dear earrings in her bag. Katie has written a feature discussing the state suppression of beer. Erica hands Annette the poster with a dry kiss. Oh God, thinks Annette, why does my father see me on telly? Erica's maintaining that Bakunin was right. Katie is emphasizing the need for international socialism. At 1 p.m., the dehydrated crowd stops for a snack. Erica screams at Annette, Annette yelps back. And 3 p.m., stand up for the workers, it's on one side of the protest. I United left is far away, sulking and abashed. Erica's anarchist is scowl at the poor little rich girl on the other side. Sadly, she still loves her, even though she knows Annette's a hypocrite. But no matter what, she never leave her for Katie. She's hot, but she's a Trotskyist. <laughs> Katie and Erica kissed for the first time. An 
And a month after that, during sex, they laughed about how permanent revolution and collectivist anarchism collect so well. And it got a job at her father's business. They shoved her and kicked her and treated her like a broom. She began to see what Erica meant, but it was too late. Katie and Erica were madly and deeply united in love. In love. In love. Thank you. So the first song was called The Businessman, and I wrote that in 2016 when the whole Panama thing was going on. Which is, it feels very dated, it's only two years old, yeah. My songs are like Tesco's milk, they have very short expiry dates. And the second one was called An Anarchist and a Trotskyist Fall in Love. You're the first audience to properly appreciate the words, so thank you very much. <laughs> uh, yeah. This next one is... Uh, I, get, I'm, I, I love writing songs about um, left-wingers falling in love, because that's who I am all the time. This one's uh, a ballad and has all the ingredients of a good ballad. Death, communism, uh, drunkenness, Judith Butler, all the good things. Cheese. He smells... Oh, smells paper. He smells of Chanel Uses it profusely to cover the odour of cheese From his job at McDonald's She glances at her feet Thinks of her assignments, looks beyond his shoulder She's embarrassed with a man in a suit they looks at each other Betray a lifetime of visions and others I'm screaming at the baby and I'm arguing and her to vote for They digest the telly like they digest each other When they fuck even though they both try their heart With someone else and although she's still embarrassed That she ended up with such a stupid prick His ignorant little smile still melts her communist heart so next time things got snappy And the baby shut its nappy And the class division slid into the way again He called her posh, she told him to fuck off He packed a little suitcase and his Fred Perry shirt And told her that he couldn't stand her anarchism anymore she cried for weeks into a wheelie bin Protested like never before in her life Her vocal cords shredded but men like him would never listen No matter how much Christopher or Irigare The vernacular always seemed so far away She didn't want to be leany dreamy And up in the clouds she wanted change in the world And she wanted him back She died soon afterwards, a miserable wreck in a dirty old flat surrounded by books. Nobody heard her voice, but some were there, were words that could have made everyone generally happier. The moral of the story is that everything is fucked. And nothing we can do can make it better. Can make it better. Yay! Thank you. Uh, since I wrote that, I, I have changed my mind. I think we can make things better. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> That's why we're here to try and make things better. And that. Anyway, uh, staying on gender. This is a song that I wrote when I was 16 about being gay. 
finding her boots in the cupboard. She took them out, put them on badly, went down the stairs sadly for tea with her auntie Marie. Always the same, still keeping her frame. Something was on her mind, she'd have to tell the family. But tradition, contrition, diminished the vision. She wanted to speak about Gwen. They'd met her to Glen. It had all started then. Displaced some fine china when finer she plucked up her courage and opened her mouth and she spoke. All their mouths broke and so did the china. Finer, gone, gone, gone. you let me be in your music video and it's supposed to be very loud and punky and stuff <laughs> He was the kind of boy who said, I love women and hate misogyny. Tried to adjust his failing patriarchy. She ignored his fucked up hugs when he came backstage and dad jokes. But at one gig he could be heard crying. Why won't you let me be in your music video? Won't you let me be in your music? Why won't you let me be in your music video? Won't you let me be in your music? He came to every show, he said he was proud of what she was doing And he clapped his hands and said, I'm a feminist Then once she heard him grumble about a racist on the bus Whilst he groped out for her hand and called out Why won't you let me be in your music video? Won't you let me be in your music? Why won't you let me be in your music video? Won't you let me be?
you let me be in your music video won't you let me be in your music why won't you let me be in your music video won't you let me be in your music and every night she on the stage by nature loud and proud and free she was like Judith Butler's secret daughter in her own language she destroyed the high bound economics of the boys trying to define her in relation to why won't you let me be in your music video won't you let me be in your music why won't you let me be in your music video won't you let me be in your music and when tonight she's home standing in the middle of the crowd and cause the personal's political she knew what she had to say and in her choir boy voice she called out all together now why won't you let me be in your music video won't you let me be in your music why won't you let me be in your music video won't you let me be in your music na 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 Two more songs, two more songs, three more songs, four more songs. I can definitely give you one, and it's called Maisie's Golden Deity. Maisie's Golden Deity. Reads the Guardian, drinks red bush tea. Fine, expensive wine. A semi-detached house in Eversham. Inherited from his comfortable mother. Pictures from his Cambridge years Footlights tour 1992 He played a tree what wanted to go to the loo He isn't very funny He does the scatological jokes for the news quiz He calls his humour Neopython He forgot how to be intelligent when he left Robinson But Maisie adores him mm -hmm. She has his posters on her walls Knows his gigs all off by heart Has been to see him 67 times Praise to him and his princess die joke On a regular basis she tweets to him And although he never replies She can feel the goodwill vibes beneath her Camps outside his house for days Follows him down darkening alleyways Desires to become his protege To become him a golden deity Steps outside his new French windows Bought from what he earned From the only gig he did on live at the Apollo He was booed so they only gave him half But they were right cause he was shite Maisie stands closer to him than she's ever been before A gun in her hand and a moment later His head flies through his own front door
come home. Oh, Maisie, come home. Join in. Oh, Maisie, come home. Oh, Maisie, come home. Oh, Maisie, come home. Oh, Maisie, come home. Keep going. Oh, Maisie, come home. Oh, Maisie, come home. Oh, Maisie, come home. Oh, Maisie, come home. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, everyone, for freedom. May the chorus continue. May we someday we'll be singing these songs in an actual stateless society. I remain hopeful. Oh, Maisie, come home. Thank you very much. Good night. Yay!